Hey everyone, super excited to show you how to get the awesome macOS Catalina on your Mac today. In this video, you will learn how to download macOS Catalina. All right, let's break this down step by step, so it's super easy to follow. What you'll need for this guide is a Mac computer for the App Store method, about one hour of free time, a stable internet connection, at least 20 gigabytes of free space. By the way, I'm using macOS Sequoia on this recording. From the description box below, let's click the App Store link. A small pop-up window will show like this one. Click the Open Link button. This will take you straight to the macOS Catalina page in the App Store. Once you click it, the App Store will open automatically on your Mac, and it should show the option to get macOS Catalina. Your system settings will pop up and start preparing everything for the download. Click the Download button when prompted. It's like the Mac is getting ready to install the new system. Don't worry, this is normal. The download might take a bit of time, depending on your internet speed and how much space you have. Now, while the system is downloading, we want to make sure the download is as smooth as possible. This is where the terminal comes in. Open Terminal. You can find it by searching for it in Spotlight. In the terminal window, type this command, ping swcdn.apple.com and press Enter. What this does is keep the connection to Apple's servers strong and stable during the download. It's like giving your Wi-Fi a little extra boost so the file doesn't get interrupted. During the download process, if your Mac stops communicating with the server for even a few seconds, the download can pause, or worse, it might fail. By constantly pinging the server, you're ensuring your Mac stays connected throughout the whole download process. It's like having a little helper who checks in with the server every so often to make sure everything is still on track. It's also a nice trick if you have a slightly flaky internet connection or if you're in an area with spotty Wi-Fi. The ping helps hold that connection steady until the download is done, making it less likely that the download will get interrupted midway. Since I'm using Secioa, this error prompt will show after successfully downloaded since Catalina is way too old on my system. Just click quit and ignore it for now. Close the system settings and the terminal window since we are done with it. Now the shiny Mac OS Catalina can now be seen on the launch pad. It would be on the second page. And alternatively, it can be found under the Applications folder on your Finder window. This video was recorded using Screen Studio. Check them up later. If you want to make a bootable Mac OS, you can click the video on your screen. Let me know on the comment section below how your downloading went. Happy upgrading. 